In this video, we want to find the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of x times ln of x. I can rewrite this because right now, if I plug in 0, I have 0. And then we know ln of x looks like this. So as we're approaching 0 from the right, that's going to be negative infinity. So whenever you have something like 0 times an infinity, you can rewrite this so you can use L'Hopital's rule. And um, you either want to have 1 over 1 over 0 times infinity, or you want to have 1 over 1 over infinity times 0. So that's how you handle those usually. Now what makes sense? Should we do 1 over 1 over x, or 1 over 1 over ln of x? Well, it's much easier to do 1 over 1 over x, because then you'll have to take the derivative 1 over x, instead of 1 over natural log x. So we have natural log of x over 1 over x. And natural log of x, we said, that goes to negative infinity. And then 1 over x, that looks something like this. And then from the right, it's going to positive infinity. So we have infinity over infinity, ignoring the sign, which means you have to use L'Hopital's rule one more time. Now the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x, and the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared, which we can rewrite this as 1 over x times negative x squared over 1. That's going to cancel, and we're just left with negative x. And so the limit as x approaches 0 from the right will be 0.